Hello, how's everybody doing? You good? Having fun? How are you doing in uh, online schooling? It's not easy, believe me, I know. Uh, okay, so here's something else you can do. Three pieces of paper. Take three pieces of paper and take one at a time. Sharpie marker or any kind of marker, dark color or a dark crayon. And what you have to do is this. You're gonna create a squiggly line that never stops and you never pick your hand up. So, here we go, ready? Don't pick up until you finish the line. Okay, so there's one. Take another one. Just create a squiggly line that goes from one end of the paper to another end of the paper. Oh my gosh, an extra piece. And then Like that. Okay, now, now you take these three pieces of paper and you look at them and you figure out which composition you want. Um, I think I like this on the end. Maybe this like this. It's kind of interesting. And no, look at that. That was, I did not do that on purpose. But that's pretty cool, because that's what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to create connections between the pieces. So now you have to draw, introduce a new line. So here, I didn't have to do it there because it's almost perfectly lined up. Uh, but here I have to put a line in, so I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to go like that. And I don't have anything else over here, so I'm going to take that line and I'm going to connect it like this. I have it go off like that. And so now I have this larger composition of shapes, which is not that bad. Then I'm gonna take a crayon, a one color crayon or two color crayons. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I thought it would be kind of cool to really kind of darken in one of these shapes with one color, but I never like to sit and do something like that with one color. I'm always using different colors, but this one I'm gonna make these two colors. It's like a dark pink and a light pink, and I'm gonna kind of switch them off, leaving some gaps in between. And I'm going to basically take this shape with this particular color. Remember I color, you see my face? See my face? This is how my son Lou colors. He moves his face around. I don't know why, but he does that. All right, so you get the point. I'm going to color in this whole area like this. I'm just gonna block this out to see what I'm gonna do here. So this will be pink, this will be pink, this will all be pink, all of this will be pink. And I'm gonna see where it goes. It goes all the way here and here and here and here and here and here, all the way to this area. Even maybe, oh, I don't know if it bleeds off there, but if it goes there. So I'm gonna have to make all of this pink and if I did that, if this doesn't touch, then I have to make all of this pink, which would be kind of interesting. So I'll make all this pink as well. And I might end up morphing the color into like an orange, because I think pink and orange work nice. And that'll be it for the pink. Maybe, oh no. See, I couldn't make this pink, because then it would be next to that. The idea is to make a two color composition, or even three color composition, where the colors don't bump into each other. It's kind of hard to do. Uh, you have to kind of work in one particular shape that continues. So all of this is gonna be this pinkish orange. I might have orange as well. So all this will be pink. I'm just kind of giving like a rough, rough it out to see where I'm going. Sorry. And so all this will be pink. And then I just have to think of what's gonna be pink over here, because it can't be this, because it's gonna sit next to that. And if it's this, I guess it could be that. No, can it? I don't know. Anyway, I gotta think through this. It takes a while. But anyway, it's gonna take me a while to do this, and I'm not gonna sit here talking to you the entire time I'm doing it, but I'll do it for a little while, and ask you how you're doing, and how's everything going, and are you having fun? 
Uh, tell me what school is like, because I know it's not easy in my house, but nothing's easy right now. I know it's not easy right now. No one's having it easy. Don't worry. It's okay. Um, we'll get through this. I uh, believe we will get through this. It's not going to be easy. I'm sure you're getting a little bored in the house. Maybe you have a small apartment like we do. Uh, if you have a really small apartment, it is really not easy. Um, believe me, I know my son Lachlan is in the background saying it's actually fun. I'm trying to make it fun. We have fun and we have times when we don't have fun. It happens. Uh, stress exists so that you know the difference between being not stressed and being stressed. If you didn't have stress, you wouldn't know what it's like to not be stressed. So think about that. In any case, um, it's really important that you keep coloring your piece because when it's done, it's going to look interesting. And I want to see what it looks like. So please show it to me. And uh, I'm still waiting for my tubes. I keep talking about this in all my videos. I hope by the time you watch this, I have tubes. And I have big pieces of paper. Oh, no. Pink got on that big piece of paper. I have big pieces of paper that I'm doing this to as well, which is also fun to do. And I have a lot of big paper. And I want to get you big paper. So I'm working out the details now. Hopefully I will have it sorted out and I'll be sending emails out with information on how to get big pieces of paper in your house from here, because I got a lot of it. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. It's like a two-dimensional design project. I used to do this a long time ago. It kind of gives me uh, a good study of how to help my compositions. If I start doing this more and more, uh, I start trying to figure out as I'm doing my little scribble scrabble, the small shape to big shape and where I'm gonna put the panels. All right, so uh, do that and let me know what it looks like and we'll go from there, okay? Thanks, I hope you had fun and I hope you're uh, continuing to draw and create and manage the stress and doing your homework. Now listen, kids, you gotta do your homework. You gotta do your schoolwork and you should really be doing it like at a specific time in the day so that it doesn't drag out for the entire day. You don't wanna do schoolwork all day long. You wanna focus on the schoolwork and do it so that you can have your other fun times and you can do some reading and things like that. Which, by the way, reading. Uh, I wanna read some books that I have. I'm gonna try to do it. Uh, I tried the other day, me and Lachlan, we tried to do it. It's not easy to record as reading because you have to read the book and you have to show the book. Um, but I got a couple of books that I'm gonna try to read and maybe you'll like to hear the books that we have to read. Uh, we'll do it. Okay, that's it. Goodbye, have fun. I miss you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.